Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing an Evelyn game, who as you can see is on my team. And she will be going up against Mordekaiser. And I asked Simon to send me this game because, well, he was doing awesome in it. And um, yeah, we're going to see how he actually managed to defeat Mordekaiser. Because, well, you could have already seen this game, uh, because I already posted the game where I'm playing, because I'm playing a 1v2 lane here. So it shouldn't be too hard to uh, figure out which game that is. And if you want to see the other side of this game, then just go to uh, find the 3v3 with a 1v2 lane from Heimer. Shouldn't be too hard to find, it's about a week old, I think, something like that. Um, yeah, now we're just waiting for this to load, and then we should be fine. So Evelyn, obviously known for her invisibility, and by the time I release this, the new uh, stealth will have come in. Uh, the stealth, w which doesn't actually hide you anymore, I'm not actually sure how it works. But I'm pretty sure that if you come too close, you don't even need an oracles anymore to spot someone. And, um, well, in this game, that's different. I mean, Evelyn is still completely invisible, and, um, yeah, she can use that, obviously, to sneak up on our enemies, but also to get away. And we will probably see both of them in this game. So, uh, Warwick, Yashi Power, is our jungler. And um, I have no idea anymore what happens except that we win. But yeah, it's really easy to win a 3v3 when you have decent, uh, well, decent teammates. So anyway, we're going for red first because Warwick wanted to do red first. And as you can see, Evelyn hasn't chosen a skill yet. Welcome Doesn't really need to choose a skill right away. Uh, the invisibility is obviously very good. And, um. Yeah, the hate spike is also, well, quite good early on. Hate spike deals uh, 25 damage but only has a 0 0.75 second cooldown, so it's really quick on uh, getting off cooldown and you can do, well, a decent amount of uh, damage per second with it. Uh, Shadow Walk, well that's the invisibility, or stealth, and um, then we have Ravage. Ravage does more damage but has a longer cooldown. With an 8 second cooldown it's not nearly as effective as uh, Hate Spike. Hate Spike also damages two enemies instead of just the one. So I'm just going to spot here for the uh, the enemy. Uh, this would be the better place to spot, but it's also the more dangerous place to spot, because they might be there. And um, my turret is just going to take uh, the first hits from uh, from red. And then after that, they will take out the, uh, the red. Uh, Evelyn will go top, I will go bottom, but I'll already be bottom probably. Because against two opponents, it's uh, normally really hard to hold off the lane. So Red still hasn't spawned yet. And um, yeah. While we're going for this, and apparently forgetting that he was doing Red. <laughs> so my turret... Uh, my turret didn't do anything there. So Evelyn just staying back here, uh, staying with her turret, because obviously she cannot really fight Mordekaiser. Uh, yeah, just going to level up and trying to get as many of the uh, last hits as possible. Not doing a great job early on, but yeah, it, it'll improve probably. <laughs> obviously it is quite hard to, uh, to hit against uh, the turret. And it's... wow, that was quick. But she's going to pick it up and by the time she levels up and gets some items going, last hitting should be a lot easier. 
So by now all three skills uh, are available. And enemy Heimerdinger not paying attention apparently. And yeah, if you're uh, if you're not paying attention, you're g yeah you're going to get uh, these kind of stupid answers back. I mean, didn't you see that someone took smite, or is it just so impossible for some people to imagine that you can actually jungle on a two v in a on a three v three? Because jungling here is excellent there's nothing wrong with it and you can do a whole lot of good with it because well it gains extra experience for your team and yeah you can set up ganks so easily so they're probably now saying that this is a one game already because it's 2v3 but even if it was 2v3 they wouldn't be able to do anything because I am leveling up so fast here uh, compared to the other two and well, Evelyn is um, well going to own everyone here. And yeah, this guy coming in, getting a nice slow on uh, on Mordekaiser. And unfortunately, we lose Warwick here. It's almost impossible to do uh, miss calls, by the way, on 3v3. Let me turn on the sound. Oh, it is on. So, I must have disabled it. On my headset. And indeed, it, it was already on, so... Never mind. So, I don't know why this Heimerdinger didn't just kill the Evelyn there. I mean... Easy enough. Throw grenades, uh, throw some rockets and plant the turrets and she'll be dead. But apparently not interested in that or, well, didn't take, uh, take her out anyway. So I'm just checking here to see if they are a dragon, but nobody's a dragon so... Yeah, we're just uh, continuing on. So far, we're one kill behind, but one kill really doesn't mean anything in the 3v3. And as you can see, I'm coming up from behind. Oh, but there's Mordekaiser. <laughs> and I apparently don't have boots yet. So the bottom lane has been pushed quite a bit, that's why I'm uh, I'm up here. Trying to help out uh, Evelyn, but Evelyn really doesn't need any help. She's uh, doing fine. Uh, she's just waiting for the lane to push into her direction. and At least picking up all of the experience. And the gold, yeah, she's losing quite a bit of gold because she cannot really reach the uh, the Mordekaiser. But with Mordekaiser gone now, should be able to uh, to do some uh, some farming. Oh yeah, they do get me here. That's okay. I expected to die a few times because if you're going up against the same champion that you are in a 1v2 lane so they have more damage and more HP and more everything then yeah sure you're going to die every now and then. Your turret has been destroyed. And we lose the first turrets. But once again, turrets don't matter here, it's only the late game that counts. If you survive the early game with all of your turrets gone and your inhibitors still intact, then you can just as well win as the opponent, because it's all about one, uh, well, one ace basically. And I get killed once more. 
But this guy is now dying as well. Getting an easy kill there, because Heimerdinger was already almost killed. And getting another kill here, I'm assuming. With the ultimate, uh, gaining a lot of extra health and um, HP or, or uh, attack damage, I think, or speed, speed. And once again, has the uh, the ultimate up. Ultimate is really going to help her out here. And what even without any uh, damage items, already doing a good job. So I'm just uh, defending here, and Warwick is still jungling, which is good. That's exactly what uh, he needs to do. And he's going for Dragon now. I'm assuming Evelyn will join him. Not actually sure because Warwick can take uh, Dragon out on his own, but it's not really safe. And Evelyn is just coming there to finish it off. There we go. Yeah, this is not Heimerdinger's fight without turret setup. It's probably not going to work, but yeah, his whole team is there. So, Evelyn has to escape here. But, yeah, going straight back in, hoping that there will only be one of them left, and indeed gets an easy kill. And even gets the turret, so for an extra 12 gold. Don't know what this Heimerdinger was thinking. I mean, you know that Evelyn's invisible, and you know that she can pretty much kill you instantly. So I'm just coming by because uh, bottom lane is once again pushed and I want to help out top. Unfortunately, we're not getting this one um, yet, that is. But Evelyn will have a slow and that should be enough. Come on, come on, come on. I know. Yeah, I know I did this the last time and I couldn't remember whether or not he got him. <laughs> but apparently he didn't, so. So I did set up a turret here to just uh, spot for incoming anything. And well to spot the enemy where, where they go when they walk into the bush here. So when we can see them coming. So Heimerdinger has oracles by now. Which is really stupid on Heimerdinger because he dies instantly. And we are just going to destroy him and then his team will lose 400 gold and yeah Evelyn doesn't really care that he can see her that's not a problem at all I mean he can do some damage to her but not enough to actually warrant the uh, the oracles going back to get more mana And unfortunately we get caught while trying to gank the Heimerdinger. And yeah, not getting the Talon once again, failing on that. But we do get to escape with our lives. So Warwick totally saved me there, obviously. And um Evelyn is now just going to search for enemies. Most of the enemies are here. Well, both the interesting enemies. Talon is really interesting. He does too much damage, but can be taken out quite easily. And let's hope... No. 
I'm think I'm not actually stupid enough to run into a bush there. She hasn't been spotted yet. Uh, she might be able to take him out here. Oh, Talon there. And yeah, I don't know where Talon went. He probably went back to uh, do his jungle camp. But now all three of us are up here and we should be able to... Yeah, I run in here without regard for my own life, but we are going to get some kills here. An well, one kill. Slain. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I should have just put a turret down and um, let the turret attack first and run out. But yeah, hey, I make a lot of mistakes too. Playing the best game of your life, or well, the game that is as good as it should be requires you to play a whole lot of games with that champion and uh, yeah even though I have plenty of games with Heimerdinger I still make plenty of mistakes but I learned from them and um, yeah I'm trying to learn from Evelyn here because my Evelyn is definitely not good I can play her I can play her decently but definitely not good enough to go up against Mordekaiser <laughs> in a 1v1 lane but apparently letting the, the wave push into your turrets is a good deal and there we go getting Heimerdinger now I'm assuming Heimerdinger with heal and are we going to get in? yeah there we go so 400 gold for us and Evelyn is no longer getting spotted now. Unfortunately, we do lose. Uh, uh, well, two for that. I shouldn't have been there. I mean, that's just stupid. And Evelyn just walking out. Even though her uh, her stealth ran out, but she can still walk out, no problem. So it has a Rigos Lantern by now, uh, as well as Zeal, making her move even quicker. And um, yeah, because the ultimate also gives her uh, movement speed. So by now the minions will be decent, yeah, 54, that's actually excellent. She has been picking up minions wherever she can and that is a good deal. So nice to get an, uh, a Warwick ultimate in range of the turrets and then, well, getting an easy kill here. There's no way he can do anything. Wasting his ignite there, meaning that next fight he won't have it. And, um, that will be our advantage, especially with Evelyn, because Evelyn has a lot of lifesteal and she basically lives off the lifesteal because she only has 1400 health and you can easily nuke that down with three champions and with the ignite you prevent half of the lifesteal, that would have been awesome And Evelyn going for one a uh, kill once more here. And there we go. Easy kill. Yeah, Heimerdinger versus Evelyn is really yeah even <laughs> even without an oracles it's or with an oracle it's impossible to win. Uh, if you're just in the middle of the lane. So that's another four hundred golds and uh yeah. It's just awesome that... Oh wow, he's going in. And we are going to get the kill, but that was really risky. 
Because I was already <laughs> way past him, so I couldn't actually help for the first uh, second. And we're going to get another kill here. So Evelyn doing a very good job. 6 and 1 now. I'm 1 and 4. But yeah. I really know at this point that I'm not going to get any kills. I don't want any kills. I just want minions and Evelyn is going to get all of the kills. So another oracles, that's another 400 gold and he's going to lose that in the next engagement we have. Because, well, as you could have seen in the previous one, he's getting, getting nuked down by Eve in like, I don't know, this amount of space. So he cannot really run back to his turret anymore. And Evelyn is just picking up some buffs and some extra golds. Obviously the extra gold from the buff creatures is also well worth it. There we go, he's dying here because he has no turrets, his turrets are way back and he's just going to get killed. There we go. And Evelyn is just going to go invisible and um, disappear. Nicely done. While we're going in <laughs> with his ultimate first like a madman but yeah we have all three champions here so we should be able to, uh, to at least fight and yeah I'm escaping here with very low health but we are going to get both of these skills at least that's what I'm assuming no come on just get him yeah there we go Evelyn going in Oh yeah, not actually going past the turret. I guess that's the the wise choice. <laughs> because the other two are right there and they are were coming in to pick him off. But Warwick should have definitely gotten that kill. Should have just ran in and um Yeah by now the extra abyssal scepter will help out both me and Evelyn. As well as the Q from Warwick, which does magic damage as well. And um, a Trinity Force on Evelyn now. Meaning that, uh, yeah, she can nuke down a Heimerdinger even faster if he gets another Oracles. And, yeah, we have a little bit of a. Uh, well, a scouting uh, something from uh, Mordekaiser. By the way, now it's uh, 5 Hate Spike, 2 Shadow Walk, 5 Ravage, and 2 Malice and Spite. Obviously the Hate Spike is, uh, well, the best ability for damage over time. But the, uh, the, mal uh, the Ravage does the most damage in one shot, so... You normally open up with the Ravage uh, for the... Well, the, the extra damage basically, and then you go hate spike onto everything else. But Ravage is targeted and hate spike is not, so that's that's a big difference. The Rigor's Lantern helping us out greatly, by the way. We have wards everywhere. Uh, this ward is from the, uh, the Rigor's Lantern. It has been there most of the game. And that is awesome, because providing some jungle uh, vision is excellent. Obviously we're all buying wards here. Uh, I still have one left. And uh, Warwick has bought a few as well. And getting vision on this map is so important. Uh, even with the turret or any something like that. Let's watch this fight. As we see uh, um, Warwick going in to... Uh, to get some extra uh, some, uh, distraction going. And uh, yeah, Evelyn running right into turret range and getting the kill. Wow, getting the kill beyond the turret. That is so excellent. <laughs> and just walking out like it's no big deal. But yeah, the uh, the ultimate really helping her out here because the ultimate provides her with extra movement speed and extra life to, well, easily survive that uh, turret. But yeah, killing behind the turret that is excellent. And once again, the uh, the ward providing us with uh, with some nice vision.
and getting a, a blind off on this guy and now we we get an easy kill but we're going to get the easy kill on this guy as well I mean obviously if there's a Warwick in the game you don't want to teleport out in such an unsafe location not even in turret range and even if it were in turret range it wouldn't have mattered anyway so Evelyn using the stealth to great effect and the slow that it provides don't know why Warwick's thingy doesn't work, his blood sand it normally works on stealthed characters as well so they do get the kill <laughs> wow that's incredible assuming that he would go that way and uh, nice, nicely played but I'm especially impressed by the early game uh, well, keep staying in lane with Mordecai without dying, that is excellent. Well, she died once, I'm not sure when, but I already forgot. A nice flash here from uh, Mordecai, excellent, into our range and uh, getting killed for that. I have no idea why he would do that. So Evelyn gets another kill. And Mordecai is just playing the best game of his life, as well as Heimerdinger. So only Talon doing a decent job, because Talon is... Um, yeah, Talon is completely overpowered at the moment. Well, he's new, so he's naturally overpowered. Though Riven seems to be really well balanced on Summoner's Rift, but is completely overpowered on uh, Crystal Scar, the new map. There's a few viewing the map uh, without having played the Dominion yet. The new map is so the Dominion map is called um, Crystal Scar, and Riven is completely overpowered there. And well, you might as well not have any summoner spells there because they didn't reduce the cooldown. So waiting for Flash for 255 seconds—that's about half the match. That's yeah. It's an incredible, uh, incredibly long time. We're going to go for another dragon here, and by keeping up with dragon, we should be able to get enough gold to do pretty much anything, even without getting kills or minions or whatever. Oh, I was following Evelyn around. Evelyn was just uh, killing some uh, some minions here. Getting an extra cooldown reduction there, um, and increased attack speed, and also has the uh, the dragon buff, which provides 16% increased damage, and that is a whole lot. So Heimerdinger thinking he's safe here, didn't buy another oracle. I wonder why. So his teammates coming in as well, and Evelyn is just running back because, well, against three opponents, that's kind of overestimating the uh, the amount of damage you can do. So hit spikes now at 0 0.67 seconds. Meaning you can do two in every uh, three in every two sec uh, two in every three seconds. That's it. And Evelyn getting out of that, but yeah, not really necessary because we were coming in and we were going to get some kills here. And easy kills at that. Uh, yeah, no real reason to not get those kills. And yeah, he's waiting at the turrets. And Evelyn's going to just drop him in three. So three hate spikes and he dies. Or three basic attacks, I don't even know. Maybe a combination. But yeah, they're not going to win this anytime soon. But yeah, the hate spike now does 100 damage. Plus 50% of that to the, uh, a second target. And that is an incredible amount of uh, of damage over time, especially with the uh, the, the uh, dragon buff still there. And we are going to go into the turret. We have a huge minion wave here, 
and we're just going to try to get something going on these turrets and apparently already almost killing the turrets and yeah there's Simon waiting for the right opportunity to get out of the base and yeah hopefully not engaging here no actually getting hit by a slow there that is quite hilarious and she's going to try to pick off Heimer here because he's all alone and yeah even though she's low health she can easily get back out then because well the um, the ultimate provides her with uh, 300 health it is um, yeah 300 health but yeah the lifesteal heals her back up immediately I'm still obviously very good on these kind of heroes and this guy is dead he doesn't know it yet but he is as soon as she can get to him before reaching the turrets no he uh, he used his invisibility to get out of that but yeah Evelyn can do that way better and going in once again yeah, unfortunately, he's teleporting back. That's kinda quite a shame. Um, yeah, so just getting the Heimerdinger then. And uh, with the ultimate, uh, Warwick is getting this guy. And we are just going to get out of here. So Evelyn by now almost impossible to kill if she plays her uh, her abilities correctly obviously this would be the moment to uh, get an oracles because now you can actually kill her with your damage but oracles should never go on Heimerdinger he's way too weak and yeah getting some slow off on Mordekaiser but that won't be enough to kill him so we're just going to get these minions, get the inhibitor, and back off. Yeah, with two uh, inhibitors down, we pretty much already won. So all we need to do now is push both lanes. And Evelyn is just getting the dragon. On her own, no problem. So the ultimate is available. Meaning she can get 75% more attack speed and 30% movement speed for 10 seconds, so it's an incredibly long time. It's a really good ultimate, especially compared to some of the crappier ones, like uh, Heimerdinger's. The uh, passive on Heimerdinger's ability is, yeah, better than the uh, the active. And Evelyn taking the red buff here. Because obviously we do realize that she's the one to get all the kills here. At 14 and 1. So much stuff. And they can probably see her there. So Heimerding is thinking this is a good defense. Well it's not. It's They're never going to, to hold this. Never. Because the turrets are just going to fire on the minions, and um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. So, <laughs> placing down a, a pink ward, but that really doesn't help at all. She's just going to attack anyway. And nice of uh, uh, Heimer there to land a stun because they're really hard to land. But yeah, at short uh, in short range uh, situations, you can still land them. Had a nice escape on uh, on Evelyn, but they have all the trouble in the world just just keeping the minions from invading their base. And yeah, the tur this turret heals back up, by the way. So it is actually at full health. 
And we are just going to uh, get all the jungle. Get the minions whenever they come. And yeah, once a anyone pushes out, we will just kill them and then kill the Nexus. So they cannot really push out. And um, yeah, we're trying to taunt them into uh, getting out here. And even if we get killed, nothing will happen. I mean, they have too many super minions uh, to take care of. It'll take them like half a minute to just get rid of that. And yeah, Evelyn just taking care of the pink wards. That's another 300 gold. And we do get the inhibitor once again. Well, the minions get that, so that's why it's so impossible to defend this. Because it's almost impossible to... Uh, well, to, to keep all of the super minions at bay. And then they will just destroy the turret once more. Evelyn almost getting killed here, by the way. On, uh, well, in the base, but just healing up on some minions while we try to take care of the... Uh, of the stuff in base. I'm assuming I'm dead here. Yeah, I am. So I'm 3 and 5. Uh, Warwick's 4 and 5, but we did most of the things in this game to just get Evelyn the kills. Evelyn picking up a lot of kills all on her own, obviously, but, well, we still had to deal with uh, with the minions and the uh, the other champions, the ones that she didn't kill. Making a Evelyn the, uh, the big carry in this game. And once again, a pink ward down, two pink wards down even, so that's another 300 gold and they they've used so much gold in trying to detect Evelyn here so yeah we're just watching them uh, struggle to get down to take down the minions as you can see it takes a long time to kill the super minions and uh, Yeah, by now it is getting a little bit uh, of a problem to get into the base. But if we just push all three of us, we can easily kill them. And all that needs to happen is that I don't die. And I die quite easily, in fact. So we're getting another dragon for just some more gold. Uh, also to prevent the enemy from getting it. I mean, we have plenty of gold. So we're going in, and as long as my turrets stay alive, we will win this fight. Uh, so that's why I shouldn't die. But Evelyn getting a nice amount of damage off there. And even getting the kill on that Mordekaiser. Without Mordekaiser, how are they supposed to uh, be able to survive? And there I die. But we do get two kills for that, or well, we are two for one, and now it's Evelyn versus Heimerding, and that's really, really not a fair fight. So Evelyn just taking some shots on the turret and almost dying but not e not exactly wow. <laughs> that was really risky but yeah she has plenty of money to replace her oracles if she needs to <laughs> and we took down about 300 health of the turrets but yeah that's not really the point uh, the point is more that we should kill them and then get the turrets. <laughs> and there's no way they can win. They can, well, prevent losing this second, but they cannot prevent losing forever. 
There's no way they can win, there's no way they can get out of their base, because even if the both of the inhibitors respawn, we can just take them out once again, and then they cannot push in. So Evelyn just waiting here for us to arrive, because we were both dead. Uh, we're, we are getting in the base right now. So nuking down this Talon immediately upon overextending. And she waited really a long time for that. And by now the enemy team doesn't have any gold anymore to buy these pink wards and such. And we're just going to go for the turret straight, uh, straight away. M Mordekaiser's ultimate on the wrong uh, champion. Well, not wrong. I mean, Evelyn is still a good target, but... Uh, we do get the turrets, and uh, 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 Evelyn is going to get out of that, no problem. And I'm dead here, I'm assuming. Come on, you can kill me. Oh, actually getting out of that, wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I didn't expect myself to, uh, to be able to uh, survive that. Yeah, Evelyn can attack from here, because the turret doesn't have that much range. We do get the inhibitor right after it respawns, and um, yeah, as long as I stay alive, as I said, we can win just about any fight, and Evelyn can nuke down just about anyone in, well, two seconds. But does have some trouble, obviously, uh, when she cannot stealth, so, she, so it takes a while to, for her to get to the second kill, or to escape. So by now uh, someone is going to sneak into the base and uh, and just kill the uh, the Nexus. I think it's Evelyn as she does b b by far the most damage. And yeah, by now Infinity Edge, uh, Phantom Dancer, that is just an incredible amount of damage. And we're going to sneak into the base, or, well, at least take care of these minions and then sneak into the base, something like that. Yeah, the grenade's really impossible to land, and I'm going to die here. Oh, I'm still alive. And Evelyn. Oh, wow. Total bait there. <laughs> Evelyn getting uh, the kill on uh, on Talon there without any problem. And yeah, immediately nuking down the uh, Heimer as well. And there we go. Easy. So well played by uh, Evelyn, especially the early game. I'm really impressed by that. So, hope you enjoyed. Showed you a little bit of, uh, well, the other side of that matchup. And um, I'll see you next time. Choo choo.